a, the, everybody knows by now what happened at the Academy Awards last Monday morning, Singapore time. Uh, Chris Rock was unwittingly attacked and assaulted by the actor whose name I shall not say because I'm still mad at him. Joining us now to talk about that is journalist, media studies professor May Lee. Joining us from Los Angeles, a dear friend of mine for many years, a former uh, PR and resident of Singapore and resident of Asia for many years. May, great to have you back with us. We're going to carry on. Okay. We're going to make we're going to make the show go. Uh, anyway, great to see you. And uh, we've got your May Lee show mugs, vintage May Lee show Aww. mugs from uh, from when you were doing the show here in Singapore. And we know a lot of friends are listening in today who remember those days fondly. Uh, so uh, anyway. Thank you so much for keeping those mugs. They're great, right? I got a couple more left if you need some. I got them in a bag. <laughs> I, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you're, you're currently doing a podcast, by the way, called also called The May Lee Show, and folks can find that on Apple, on Stitcher, and and everywhere else. And, and you talk a lot about a, a lot of uh, daily issues, uh, especially of uh, discrimination and, and things happening in the in the AAPI community. So that's a, that's a great podcast to tune into. Um, but May, the reason we're here today is to talk about the uh, the assault. Give us the latest on where there's been a flurry of activity this week uh, from the Academy, from all of the players and actors literally and figuratively involved in this. Where are we right now with the incident? Well, it's called Slapgate, right? Um, and it's the story that just won't die. Um, and you know what? Honestly, you guys, uh, in all seriousness, for good reason. Um, yeah. This is a really fascinating story on multiple levels. From a sociological point of view, um, you're talking about assault, right? You're talking about violence. You're talking about um, sort of public discord in the most physical way. You're talking about entertainment with two big superstars, you know, in, in a public arena, the, one of the biggest public arenas you could possibly have. Um, you're talking about marital problems, you know, uh, allegedly between Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. I mean, there's a, there's, it's multi-layered and then race comes into play too. So all of the yeah. articles and comments that have been made since Sunday have been fascinating to me, but it is still a story. And just today, Will Smith announced that he's going to resign as an Academy of Motion Pictures member. Mm -hmm. um, that's, Kind of That's a big deal, big. but not really, yeah. guys. Well, yeah, really. but it's, um, it's notable. There's, I mean, there's mate, there was, ten, yeah. I was going to say, mate, there are so many issues here. I mean, for the benefit of Singaporean viewers and listeners, maybe provide the context what this means racially. It's such a complicated issue in America right now regards to race, because I've seen all kinds of commentaries, right wing commentary saying, what if it was a white guy on a black guy? What if it was Ricky Gervais instead of Chris Rock? We'd be having yeah. a whole different conversation. We've also had black commentators saying it panders to the stereotype. It's the worst possible representation yeah. for us. What are your thoughts? Oh, I think this has been fodder for whatever side you're on. Seriously. So any side has taken their sort of, they've twisted it um, to favor whatever narrative that they want to present. Um, and so really at the end of the day, though, Neil, I mean, if we just sit back just for a second, right? And I've been saying this to people, just stand back for one second and just look at it at face value. It was one person assaulting another, right? I mean, yeah. that in itself. You can't get around that, right? No you can't get around wanna, that. Okay. No matter how but, you want to talk around it, you can't get around exactly. it. Exactly. And that you can't get around. And there were reports behind the scenes that the LAPD did show up and they mm. were asking Chris Rock, do you want us to take him out? Do you out of you know the ceremony? Do you want us to arrest him? And Chris Rock adamantly said no and absolutely refused. So there was a lot going on behind the scenes. But Neil, going back to your point. You know, yes, the right wing, of course, is using this as saying, ah, oh, see, look at the African-American community. You know, they condone this kind of violence and black on black violence. And then others are saying, yeah, if this were a white presenter, you know, Will Smith would have never done because of racial tension and because of the hierarchy of the races here in America. Yeah. You know, in many ways, all of that is true. That's why I say yeah. this this. Uh, incident is so fascinating on multiple levels. I mean, even you know, I tried to comment on it on social media by saying exactly what I said, no matter how you look at it, this is assault. One person assaulting another, 
And yeah. it, it really set a bad example in terms of violence, um, condoning violence. And what did the kids think who are watching this, right? That it's yeah. okay to get up there just because somebody cracked a bad joke and you can hit him. So yeah. I it, got interesting. crap for it. I was, yeah, I was going to say last week when this, uh, when this um, broke, a, a lot of people were, were saying, oh, well, he was just defending his wife's honor and all that. So we've heard that argument. I'm, I don't even want to dignify that one, uh, quite honestly. But I thought it was interesting. You know, the Academy has really tried to push this off onto Chris Rock saying, well, Chris, Chris didn't want him arrested um, or, or removed from the theater. So we honored his wishes. And, you know, I just think that's such a cop out on the part of the Academy. It was the Academy's show. It was the Academy's responsibility to yeah. not only eject Will Smith in my, in my particular opinion, certainly not give him a, 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 the podium to talk about his reasons or whatever <laughs> that rambling bizarre speech he gave but also yeah. you know this isn't about chris rock whether he wants him there it should have been the academy saying we don't we are absolutely rejecting this type of behavior and you are out you know if, I agree. if somebody would have gone up on stage and groped a presenter you know a male a female a male a male whatever they wouldn't have allowed that would they would they have just let the person sit down and carry on well no. you, <laughs> you know, know what? why would Actually, they allow this Glenn? It's interesting what? you say that because many years ago, a couple of times during the Academy Awards it, at different at different years, there have been these playful interactions of okay. people like smacking, yeah, not smacking, but, you know, kissing, you know, sure. a, an actress on stage. Sure. Um, sure. I think Adrian Brody did that with Halle Berry mm. one year. And so people are bringing all these other incidents up saying, what's the difference, right? But you're right. Yeah. The Academy is the final say it's the authority of that show and so therefore right. even if chris rock said no 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 it shouldn't matter the academy should have taken the initiative to say no you know what this is how we have to present the show and mm. what we believe in now the mm. producer will packer had an exclusive interview with abc uh today and he kind of laid out more of the details of what had happened and he was also saying it was up to Chris Rock per se. And I remember when he said that in, in the interview about, no, 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 that's not right. I do not yeah, agree with that. Exactly, Chris Rock exactly. was trying to save the day and just make peace. And he right. was in shock. Can you imagine? Yeah. So he didn't even know, he hadn't even processed what had happened. So therefore the Academy running the show should mm -hmm. have said, we have to take a stand right here, right now in front of a billion people. Right. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's what it comes down to. I may so on that point, uh, Jim Carrey said something very interesting this week. The actor saying that this is the time now that Hollywood almost needs a day of reckoning. Uh, the power structure of Hollywood has, has really gotten mm. out of control. The reason that man got a standing ovation, let's be very frank, is because he's a power player. He makes a lot of money for lots of people in that room. I suspect it would have been very differently if he was a low-key producer or a makeup artist, costume designer, whatever. <laughs> he would have been mm. hauled out of that auditorium. Mm. And I've seen it. I'm sure you have, May. I know Glenn has. You know, it, for people on the outside, it's hard to appreciate sometimes how much power these guys have. I've been on movie junkets. I've been in the room with movie stars. The orders, what you can and can't say, what you can and can't ask them, are often more stringent than they are for politicians. Mm. <laughs> so they're buffeted, they're closeted, they're inside this bubble. And do you think that there was a sense of that bubble bursting, May, or will it just go back to how it's always been? Oh, boy. I mean, Neil, look, Hollywood is a powerful machine, right? It's a global mm. machine that makes a lot of money. It entertains, you know, worldwide audiences. So it's got a lot of power and influence. And someone like Will Smith is one of the biggest blockbuster actors on the planet, okay? Yeah. There's no arguing that. A day of reckoning, perhaps for a moment. Um, nothing lasts very long in Hollywood in terms of uh, anything really tangible. The one thing about the Academy <laughs> is that That's a great comment. <laughs> there was the Oscar so white controversy, yeah. right? Because there were yeah. hardly, there were no white nominee, uh, sorry, um, non-white nominees. And so the Academy added several thousand new members of diverse backgrounds saying that we need to change. Yes, we understand that this is very white and very male. And so they try to change the sort of the diverse makeup of the Academy, saying that this is a reflection of Hollywood. So we're changing, we're changing. Well, you know, years later, we're still dealing with some of these very issues. And yes, there's still a very powerful structure that makes up Hollywood, starting from the top, 
It's usually still very white men uh, running the show, making the decisions about what goes, what doesn't. And then you have the actors, obviously, who play the big roles. So that structure is going to be in place. It's not going to change overnight, certainly. Mm -hmm. This, sure, it's shaken a lot of people up, and it's started a lot of interesting conversation. I'm going to wait and see if it really sticks. Mm, yeah. eh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Not gonna yeah. hold my breath. Apparently, there's a there's a, a another meeting uh, this coming week. The, another meeting this coming week coming up uh, with the academy. They're gonna sit. Yeah, and yeah. Discuss, or next oh, week yeah, or yeah. Something. They're they're discussing and they're investigating and they're trying to make a decision about what to do with Will Smith. Will Smith uh, voluntarily resigned today yeah. from the academy, yeah. so he's already taken a step that they probably would have taken. Mm. Now it's up to the academy to see what further sort of you know, a punishment that they might hand down to him. Now, if people think that they're going to take away the Academy Award from him, they are dreaming. That is never going to happen. I will tell you why. There's a precedent. Roman Polanski, mm -hmm. right? And um, uh, uh, Henry, uh, Harry Weinstein. Harvey they Weinstein. both He's have won Oscars. Oscars I they think. They both yeah. committed atrocious crimes, and yep. their Oscars were never revoked. So yeah. this is not going to happen to Will Smith. However, some other things may happen, including being banned from the Oscars, you know, being, you know, sanctioned for a little while. But probably nothing that's going to harm him incredibly from the Academy point of view, his career, mm -hmm. his reputation. Who knows? Yeah, that's in question. Because it is really weird. You know, when you look at that career thing, some people are saying, oh, his career is over. And I'm like, I don't think it is because there's just enough people that, you know, quote unquote respected what he did for his wife again you can you can argue all day long about their particular relationship and how much of a family yeah. man he is and all that but uh, that being set aside um so you know i think there's still a sizable audience out there that that will still love and support him in whatever he does next he's just made yeah a movie. no i, I think, think i think he before this happened you guys on sunday i mean he was one of the favorite actors in hollywood people liked him People yeah. liked his movies. I, yes, he was I love him. Known as a really nice guy for the most yeah. part, right? At yeah. least that was his image. And so, you know, is this going to completely destroy him? It's probably going to affect him and his reputation for a little while. But it just takes the next big movie <laughs> and the next big part. Or and the next distraction. A blockbuster hit <laughs> for him to make a big comeback. And, yeah. you know, Hollywood loves comeback stories, yeah. right? Yeah. And so if he yeah. can come back from this, which I think he probably will, um, I think, uh, you know, he, and, and also all the apologizing and this and that and sort of assessing and reassessing, you know, he, I think he's trying to make amends. Uh, and then Chris Rock, you know, I mean, let's give him huge props. He handled himself so professionally, so well, so calmly uh, in a situation that most people would not have known what to do. So he is getting a lot of, you know, sort of support because of the way in which he handled this whole thing. Yeah, and extraordinarily, mate, I mean, I believe they're friends. I mean, he made the Madagascar yeah. movies, Chris Rock, with Jada Pinkett yeah. Smith. Um I mean, I I foresee some really tacky, they all sit around in a garden with Oprah Winfrey, like they did with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and there will be a massive, massive syndicated sale. And a love fest. How and, do yeah. you see, May, this, I mean, cynicism, you can't not have it when it comes to Hollywood. How do you see this being resolved? I think you're yeah, actually Neil. I think you just gave everyone a really good idea, especially Oprah. <laughs> if Oprah hasn't already reached out to them to secure an interview, I would be shocked. Uh, I would be shocked. Um, but yes. it all, yeah, no. In all seriousness, that is always the way to go. Is that the mea culpa, and then you go on and you 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 apologize. You have a heart to heart with someone like Oprah Winfrey, who will get all the eyeballs, and you make amends, right? So. Is that going to happen with the three of them sitting down with Oprah? I'm not sure about that. Maybe Will and Jada, you know, talk together and kind of – because it was Red Table Talk, which is her talk show, right, mm. where a few years ago Will and Jada sort of had this moment where they admitted to their sort of external – you know, sort of relationships, right? Mm -hmm, but they mm -hmm. had this open marriage, et cetera, et cetera. Now, again, we don't want to go down that road too much. But it all has to do with this buildup of this strange 
kind of relationship and, you know, kind of complex sort of web that they've created. But, and then on top of that, you throw in the Hollywood image that they're trying to maintain as this power couple. And I don't know. I mean, I, he snapped. I guess yeah. he snapped. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, May, we got to leave it there, but um, we're going to have you on after they do their talk with Oprah to uh, <laughs> <laughs> to have you uh, demystify it for us because uh, we know it's going to come. It'll come in some shape or form. Oh, I'll it's come. No, no, no. It, it's it's <laughs> definitely coming. And you know how I adore Oprah because I used to work for her. You worked with her. The yeah. Best. Wow. She's the yeah. goat. She is the yep. absolute goat. So she will handle it in her Oprah esque way. Uh, right. So, yeah, I'll be back on to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks to a May Lee journalist, author, activist, professor, podcast, The May Lee Show. Uh, always great to see you, May. Thanks for joining us from Los Angeles. You're so welcome, guys. <laughs> <laughs>